India's super carrier is alive. And honestly, it's a monster. Welcome to Defense and Safety Engineering, your go-to channel for real defense insight with zero propaganda. After years of silence, the Indian Navy's most ambitious project is finally back in motion. INS Vishal, India's second aircraft carrier and its first supercarrier, is set to be a 65,000 plus ton beast, bigger than anything India has ever built, and built to challenge China's growing blue water ambitions. Reports suggest that the Indian government may greenlight construction by the end of 2025, and what's planned is nothing short of revolutionary. INS Vishal will be part of India's Indigenous Aircraft Carrier 2, or IAC-2 program. With a displacement of over 65,000 tons, it will outclass the current INS Vikrant, which comes in at 45,000 tons and even approach the size of US Navy supercarriers. So what makes Vishal different? It's designed to use emails, the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, the same technology used on the USS Gerald R. Ford. It may feature nuclear propulsion or an advanced integrated electric propulsion system, giving it almost unlimited range. It will carry over 50 aircraft, including the naval AMCA stealth fighter, TDBF drones and AEW helicopters. And yeah, the expected top speed is over 30 knots with cutting edge radar and battle management systems. So, why does India need a carrier like Vishal? Well, it's because the Indo-Pacific is heating up fast. China's navy is now the largest in the world, with three aircraft carriers and more on the way. The plan's Fujian supercarrier is already sea-trialing with emails, and Beijing is aggressively expanding its influence in the Indian Ocean region. INS Vishal is India's counterpunch. It gives India the ability to project air power deep into the South China Sea, protect key sea lanes and support allies like Vietnam and Indonesia. With Vishal, India isn't just defending its waters, it's entering the elite club of carrier-led global navies. The RDO CSL, that's Cochin Shipyard, and Indian Navy planners are finalizing the design. Construction could begin by 2026, with sea trials by 2032 to 2035. Challenges? Oh, plenty. Emails tech must be either imported from the United States or developed indigenously. Nuclear propulsion needs political approval and budget. And honestly, costs could exceed 60,000 crore rupees. That's over 7 billion US dollars. But with rising Chinese aggression and a clear Indo-Pacific strategy, the geopolitical push is strong. Ayans Vishal isn't just a ship. It's a symbol of India's naval future, a floating fortress, a message to adversaries and a critical asset if India wants to dominate the Indian Ocean and protect its maritime interests globally. So, is INS Vishal finally happening? All signs point to yes. And when it sets sail, the seas will never be the same. Stay tuned to Defense and Safety Engineering for more updates on this mega project. Smash the like, tap subscribe and ring that bell icon because this isn't just defense news, it's the future of power projection. Jai Hind!